This is Dr. Gertis, and I want to talk to you about uh, what's going on in your first and second week here in uh, Business 624 uh, Leadership Development. So here uh, I'm looking at the syllabus, and last week you read the entire book of Leadership Development. And so now this week you are, and you chose your leadership interventions, I hope. Um, and so this week you're going to look at the four disciplines of execution, which will be the key to you understanding what it is that you're going to be doing uh, as you get to the leadership development scoreboard. So let me show you on a Blackboard what I'm talking about here. Let's move this out of the way. And so on Blackboard, you'll see this uh, under your assignments week two. Week two, assignments, uh, and you'll see this little bit that says choose your intervention if you have not done already. So here, if we click on this choose your intervention, you have that first spreadsheet that has you, you signed up for what it is you're, you're doing. It's capped at five for any group. Um, I mean, that's uh, it's not allowing you to do more than or to you know go further than that. And if you look at this, um, this is just DB1. This is uh, part, part two. Right, come on, click on it. Do. Are you two, three, and then four? Uh, you'll see here as well. Okay, so let me go back now. If you look on the side here, you see team A, B, C, D. Please color code those so that we know which team you're in, and then um, don't go past five. And, and I did that because uh, there's no reason that I, you know, you should be all doing the same thing. You'll get uh, some interesting uh, understanding if you are looking at each other's uh, different kinds of works. Okay, so let's go back here, and then there's another box below that that says post your wig, lag, and lead measure. Well, that's not going to make any sense until you first read or review the uh, four disciplines of execution but once you do then you go out to this spreadsheet and this spreadsheet took me a long time to set up um, but it's but it's good it'll have your names on the side and then it'll also have uh, below that uh, let me pop this into place and then below that it'll have your uh, your names listed so here's what you're gonna do I'm gonna take Darren Britton let's use him for an example and so if he wants to talk about his overview his wig his lead measure lag measure he will not type on this master sheet because if he does type try to type on here it will not allow him to it'll say there's a problem I protected the cells because what's gonna happen is when he goes to Darren Britton and then he goes to his name Darren Britton and he writes his overview of what he wants to do he wants to lead his sales team effectively um, help them succeed. Okay, that's what he says he wants to do. That will be there, but it will also show up on the master sheet right there. Okay, so it'll show up in both places. Now, let's go back to his name again and if you click on your uh, I'm sorry you got to click on here to get to your name and then you stay in your lane okay so then his wig and his lead and his lag measure so in order to help a sales team succeed let's say let's go to the lag measure w what we know is that well he they need to increase sales per staff member so let's write that down increase sales per staff member Okay, that's the lag measure. That's what will show you that you've succeeded. So what's a lead measure? A lead measure is something that you can control or you can help them with that will help them get there. So an increase um, lead measure might be, say, uh, an increase, uh, uh, let's see, in quality of contacts. And by quality of contacts, we mean uh, as measured by attributes, um, goals, uh, making sure that they have the need, ability, etc. Now, I say quality because that's not the norm. Usually we talk in terms of quantity uh, as terms of, you know, are you making uh, 100 sales calls a week? Well, you know, maybe if you're making these sales calls, but you're not really, uh, you're just trying to gun out the number and check off that you made 100 calls. You're not really finding out, you know, what your people's needs are. Uh, so let's say that will lead to a wildly important goal of 120% um, year over year sales for the staff. Let's say that that's what it is. Now, it could be anything. Uh, sales year over year. Okay. And so to measure that that's what your percentage is at that, at that point. Now, 
as you go through the semester, as you're working through everything that you're learning and applying, he will then self-evaluate for week one, week two, week three, five, seven, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14. On week four, six, nine, and 11, others will be evaluating him as based on what he has done with his intervention. So the first week, and it's a one to one to 10 scale or zero to 10 scale. Uh, if you're zero to six, you're probably in the red. You're probably not doing that well. Six, seven, eight, you're probably in the middle as a yellow. And uh, nine and 10, you're really doing well. So week one, he, he learned a lot. He's gonna give himself uh, an, an eight. Okay, when he does that, that reflects his yellow way. Well, he's almost there. Week two, he actually has done something based on his reading, so he's giving himself a nine. Week three, he didn't really do much, so he's giving himself a, a six, and it's red. Now, um, let's let's give him a five instead, okay? And it's red. Okay, so now that's going to reflect on the master sheet. See that? He's what he's rated himself. Now, when you have gotten to the intervention, the first intervention, Natasha Biggs is going to rank him after reading, let's say, and she's going to give him an eight. Okay. And Faith is going to rank Darren. And let's say she gives him a seven. And uh, that's for, uh, for uh, Darren, right? Yes, Darren. Yes. Okay. And then uh, Arlene is going to rank him and she's going to give him a uh eight okay that's going to add up and when we go back to the master sheet what we'll see is that the average here is going to show for that week so you can see how this builds over the course of the semester the good news is nothing on this sheet is going to affect your grade other than participation let me say that again nothing on the sheet will affect your grade so if people give you lousy grades that's for your information so that you see that yeah you, you really kind of blew it on that intervention you really didn't do a good job or whatever but it's not affecting my estimation of what you're doing because i'm grading you independently of this okay so don't worry about this as far as like you know give people an honest accurate perception of what what they're doing instead of worrying about um, what they're going to say. Okay, so this will help you get started in creating your overview, your wig, your lead measure, and your lag measure. I will erase this so you won't see it like that when we start, but um, when we start, just start working in the, or getting those pieces in place and helping each other uh, cooperate to graduate. Okay, guys, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. We'll talk to you later. Bye.